Hey YouTube, welcome back to another edition of Cycle QMX. I'm your host, Ryan Wood. Alright YouTube, now with the uh, welder off, maybe you can hear me a little bit better. But here we go. So here is our first uh, side to our new um, control arm. This is for the front uh, independent suspension. So step one in the process is first to remove all the slag off your parts. So come out of the plasma cutter, uh, you're going to have a little bit of slag so you're going to make sure you need to clean all that up. And then of course you got to remove the uh, mill scaling so you can get that all cleaned up so they end up all nice and shiny, something like this. And then eventually we'll be able to uh, TIG weld this all together. But until we get there. We got a little cleaning to do. just one. And now you can see I've removed uh, most of the slag. It's pretty good. And then we'll have a little piece of pipe. It goes in here like such. One side down, two little tabs done, and cleaned up. Now it's got to do the other side. Ooh, sticky stain. All right, YouTube, let's get at it. See, this is just some of the chippings. Slag. Now we're gonna hit with the grinder, sander. Alright, here we go. We got one down, cleaned up, both sides, uh, one more to go, and that will complete at least one side of our independent front suspension on our electric pickup truck, mini pickup truck. Stay tuned.
do the other side. All right, YouTube, uh, I've gotten my pieces all cleaned up here. Now I just got to uh, tack them together. I have reinforcements here, reinforcements here, and then eventually this will tie in uh, all the way down so that way we have our whole uh, front cross member. All right, stay tuned. Exciting build. I'm thinking 8,000 watt motor. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, independent front suspension, truck. Uh, we're gonna do an axle base of about uh, 70 inches and about 48 inches wide, roughly. And uh, should have about a uh, nice little cargo area in the back. It's looking pretty good. I just gotta get this done. Then I gotta do the other side. I got the frame already started, I'll have to show you guys that later. Already jumping ahead. Lots to build, lots to get done. So let's go ahead and get to welding. Stay tuned. Basically, I have to install the um, head tube and line that up. I got my angle finder, pop that on there, square it all up, tack it down, and that'll be one side done. I think that's going to be it for today, so we'll go ahead and tack this on there. A big build. All right. Here's my little coil over shock. This will allow us to do go right in here, a little pin like this. Lock it into play, and there you go. Bada boom, bada bing, we got our front suspension. Now overall we're gonna have our spindles. new spindle I built. It's going to go inside here. It's going to have uh, bearings, cartridge bearings, 45 degree. 
the only the best cartridge bearing. And we'll have our new spindle like such. And there we go, that's looking pretty good now. That's one side to our new electric 5,000 watt or possibly 8,000 watt electric pickup truck. Well, I guess I'll just have to keep working at this and I'll uh, keep you posted. Till next time. Peace.